So yeah, what's up? Um, I started at 5.30 this morning, yard selling. Um, I hit my first yard sale at, let's see, 5.45 to 5.50. I played early bird, so I got there, had a good cup of coffee, and uh, the ad said it had toys and games. When I got there, I wound up finding a um, an electronic Rubik's Cube game. I suck at Rubik's Cube. I also found an 80s style old Rubik's Cube. I bought it for a little of nothing. I found an Atari flashback, a plug and play in box. It looks basically brand new. I'm really stoked about that. I think it comes with like, what, 75 games. Um, so yeah, that was a good deal. I think I spent, uh, what did I spend there? Five, I think I spent $5 and 50 cents at that yard sale and got all that. Um, my next yard sale hit about mm, nearly seven o'clock and it was a little bit more, I guess what I would consider a, a higher end neighborhood. Uh, but anyway, I found some sort of a, a, a game player's magazine. It looks like something to do with some newer game systems. But anyway, it looked really kind of cool, and I think it'll look nice in the collection. I've been looking for Mario toys. I bought some recently on eBay, uh, Nintendo toys, any of that. Uh, so I found um, what I get a, a Donkey Kong, some sort of a Donkey Kong variation toy. I have to figure out who he is. I think he rides a skateboard and has a bandana. Anyway, it's a Nintendo toy. I found a pretty sweet Mario. Uh, he's gonna look really good uh, also on my desk. And uh, I forget what else I got. I got a, a couple of other things there as far as collector toys for Nintendo. Yes, awesome. Um, I hit a couple of other yard sales. I wound up uh, doing really good at this one sale. It said video games. I passed up on a Super Nintendo, uh, like a top loader today. I, I just couldn't come to a deal with them. They had Super Mario World, which I wanted, but they wouldn't sell the game separately. And I already have an FC Twin, so I just didn't really need that system. And I have a Super Nintendo as well, so I just passed on that. Um, I went on down, but anyway, there's this yard sale that said video games. And uh, I wound up scoring a Metroid on GameCube Prime for four bucks. I thought that was a pretty good deal, and I got three different Mega Man uh, games on PlayStation 1, so that was pretty sweet. Uh, I found like an old NES uh, game case, and I think it's pink, which is weird because I have like the clear ones. I kind of use those to put some of my NES games in. So anyway, I had an awesome day collecting, doing yard sales, uh, just out here in the wild, just having a ball. Um, yeah, so... Anyway, it's been a lot of fun, and I've spent virtually nothing and got a ton of stuff today. I'm stoked. It's going to look great in my collection. Thumbs up. I wish I had a like button, like right here. Uh, I like that. So, uh, yeah, anyway, how about some metal horns? Yes, uh, I'm out. Okay, so I just came out of a store. I had a guy that um, he had some Atari 2600 games, and uh, he was going to sell them for what are you, $5 a piece. And so I started to put them back because I was like, eh. And uh, so anyway, he told me that he would do two dollars and fifty cents a piece, and I ended up with like some pretty good ones. Miss Pac-Man was in there, I think Pong. I know those are classics, but uh, to me they are. I don't think they're rare, but uh, I'm just trying to build my collection. So anyway, I got them from two dollars a piece and got several good ones. And also, I picked up two of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show DVDs for $2 a piece, which I thought was awesome because uh, I'm still collecting Mario. So, came out of there with some pretty good finds for the collection. Um, and also picked up an E.T. Uh, soundtrack on vinyl because I also collect uh, vinyl records. Uh, so, that has nothing to do with games, but that's a really cool find as well today. So, I think else, the thing I picked up was something else on GameCube for for something for pretty cheap. Oh, Extreme Racing. Eh, I like racing games, so uh, pick that up. So, collection's growing. Um, I like it a lot. So, also, I want you to pay attention to how many times I say the word um on my video. Woo! Okay, so I had an awesome day today. Um, I'm going to go over some of the stuff I got. Alright, um, we got... A Rubik's Touch Cube. Uh, it's electronic. No idea. I'm terrible at Rubik's Cube, but 
that's pretty nifty. Um, what else we got here? We got Mega Man 8 PlayStation. We got Mega Man 5 PlayStation 1. And Mega Man 4 missing the cover. Let's get the back. Here's my pink Nintendo NES case. Nice. Uh, Brady Game Signature Series Guide. Take your game further. Got this for a quarter. Looks good in the collection. I like books. Okay, I wind up scoring this, this GameCube Extreme Racing. Uh, personal favorite, I love Metroid. So I got the Metroid Prime. Really stoked about that. Well, these guys are cool. Look. Mario Brothers Super Show. Boom! Showdown in Brooklyn. And, and they're in great shape. Mario Brothers Super Show, Mario of the Deep. Boom! Speaking of Mario, I found him. And he's like, Yeah, Luigi! Okay, that's the worst Mario ever. Okay, I don't do very good. Italian plumbers. Here's the Donkey Kong character. If you may know what this is, let me know. It says FK. I know he's Nintendo. I have no idea what FK means. I'm sure it's something Kong, but I don't know what. He's going to look amazing on my shelf. All right, then, score of the day right here. Check this out. Atari Flashback 4. Killer shape, right? You guys wonder why I got this for? $2.50. That's right. In box, $2.50. All right, some Atari 2600 games. Centipede. Pole position two. Never saw this guy. Crystal Castles. Yes. Miss Pac Man. She's such a beautiful lady. Fifty Tele Games. Most of you guys probably already have that one, but I didn't have Pong, so pretty stuck about that. And Vanguard. So all in all it was an awesome day. Um so this is it. Um, that was my findings at the yard sale today. I'm very excited to put these in the collection. So, have a great day. Um, subscribe, like my page. See ya.